Bertir Tumad on Olmenawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo radar on all Minawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. It seems there has been an unexpected development. The manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained of supply problems on the island, and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such orders. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Very well. I will find out. I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. 
I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case... Here's the patent that will allow your protégé to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and... He was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner. A native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he wasn't gunned down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival, since apparently, he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here, and then they took him away. That's all. 
What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you. Ready to excite the crowd. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh. That's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. What a show! You've won the affections of the crowd. And when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Ol Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Desade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this on old Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. 
May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi, who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaig say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaig say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisagnameis. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island, especially the kings of Hikmet. But I know we could learn many things from them, and we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago. But I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life, because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaigse. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. <laughs> <laughs> 